Working with cosmonauts has to be one of the most uh, challenging yet rewarding parts of being an astronaut training for a mission on board the space station. It's a delight to work with people that have grown up in a completely different culture, completely different mindset, completely different language, and yet you come together for something as important as this. And you've, discovering what those commonalities are and everything from your, your technical job to your, your personal life. It's, it's a fascinating discovery and some pretty strong bonds are, are made because of it. I spent a great deal of time training in Russia, not just for this mission, but throughout my career as an astronaut, I've been involved with supporting the International Space Station and working over in Russia. So I've had a lot of experience over there, especially in the area that we train in, near Moscow. And I've learned, been learning the language since I was in graduate school. So along with that comes understanding the culture. And I'm constantly learning about that. But then I also uh, started training for this mission and uh, launching and landing on a Russian vehicle. It's uh, a Soyuz rocket, Soyuz vehicle attached to that rocket. And in this mission, I was uh, launching with two other Russians commander and the uh, and the flight engineer and myself and uh, we worked together uh, to um, uh, monitor systems as we were launching and then of course to work as a pretty solid team as we were coming back down to earth um, in the same vehicle and of course spending uh, 176 days in space with them and uh, would you know it that the day that we were supposed to undock from the space station the first time in history the first time in history and this goes all the way back to the Mir days, I mean, back several, several decades. Our vehicle, uh, w w the space station hooks would not let go of our vehicle. And we sat in our vehicle for like five and a half hours, suited up, thinking we were coming back to Earth, and we weren't. And we ended up having to uh, abort the, the undocking and climb out of our spaceship, get out of our suits, and live one more day on board the space station because uh, of a mechanism that had, uh, had broken and needed to be fixed. So it's interesting I bring that up because um, my two Russian crewmates, the cosmonauts that I flew with, we've, we've been through some pretty dramatic things all the way from this training in general to launching in space on a vehicle, a vehicle that I'd never really been, I've never been in it, uh, the real vehicle, unlike the shuttle, um, and in, in an area that I had not spent much time in. They were, a, they were a comfort to me in many ways, uh, but all that you experience in life uh, on board a space station, in an environment where things break suddenly, we had a critical failure on board, a component that uh, cools down the space station had broke and uh, this happened suddenly and it required that we go outside and fix it. This, I got to do three spacewalks with my partner Doug Wheelock to go fix this. When that happened, it happened to all of us on board and um, we all came together in a moment of great uncertainty and when that happens you, you, you become even closer. You, you don't even realize how close you've become with someone until months later and you're looking back on that time and you realize something has changed and it's changed for the good and it's it's really it's more it, it's in some ways even more rewarding than any other relationships because you know that it was built on on uh, on some form of communication that is is may not be common all around but common to to you both because we never just spoke pure russian we never spoke just pure english it was sort of a combination of that and body language and just pure understanding one another. And when you can do that with somebody who you haven't grown up with your whole life, who, who grew up in a completely different culture as you and has a completely different technical background in, as you, and you can come together and not only work together but live together, it's, it is one of the most rewarding parts of this, uh, of this job and uh, something that I, I'll cherish, I think, forever in that experience I had living on board the space station.